The XIRR function in Microsoft Excel. The XIRR function is a powerful tool for financial analysis. XIRR stands for Extended Internal Rate of Return. It's a function in Excel that calculates the internal rate of return for a series of cash flows that may not be periodic. That means a schedule of cash flows occurring at irregular intervals. In other words, if you have investments or withdrawals made at different times, XIRR will help you calculate the return. You may have heard of the IRR function, and you might be wondering how XIRR is different. The main difference is that IRR assumes all cash flows are equally spaced in time, while XIRR allows for cash flows at different intervals. Using the XIRR function in Excel is pretty straightforward you need two arrays or ranges. One is for the cash flows, and one is for the corresponding dates. The syntax is also straightforward. Equals XIRR, and then in parentheses, values, dates, and then an optional one, guess. The values argument is required. A series of cash flows that corresponds to a schedule of payments in dates. The first payment is optional and corresponds to a cost or payment that occurs at the beginning of the investment. It needs to be a negative value. Then additional payments are discounted based on a 365 day year. And the series of values must contain at least one positive and one negative value. Dates, that's another required argument. This is a schedule of payment dates that corresponds to the cash flow payments. With XIRR, dates can occur in any order. Also, dates should be entered by using the date function or as results of other formulas or functions. For example, you'd use equals date parentheses 2024 comma 5 comma 23 for the 23rd day of May 2024. This is a number that you guess is close to the result of XIRR. In most cases, you don't need to provide a guess for the XIRR calculation. If omitted, the guess is assumed to be 10%, and that would be 0.1. Also, the XIRR function is closely related to the XNPV function. That's the net present value function. You can learn more about that in one of our videos. To make things easier for us, Excel uses an iterative technique for calculating XIRR. Using a changing rate, starting with the guess, XIRR cycles through the calculation until the result is accurate within 0.000001%. That's a millionth of a percent. If XIRR can't find a result that works after 100 tries, that might be why you'll see a num error. A little behind the scenes, the rate of return calculated by XIRR is the interest rate corresponding to XNPV equals zero. Let's take a look. Here, I have a practice file, and you can download the practice file and follow along. Let's say we made an initial investment of $10,000. For this one, we'll use the formula that you see here. Equals XIRR, parentheses, then our values. For this one, I'm going to select A2 to A6. Then my dates, comma, select that range, B2, colon, B6, comma. Then we have guess. For this one, the default is 10%, so I could either omit that or just type in 0.1. I'm going to close the parentheses, press enter, and there we go. This shows the internal rate of return as 109%. We can tell by either the decimal or by formatting it as percentage. There we go. We did it. It's that easy. The formula calculated the internal rate of return based on these cash flows and these dates. In this case, we used ranges. Certainly that's one way to do it, but we could also create a table from this data. I'm gonna click inside the data range and press Control T, and my table has headers, so I'll click OK. Now that's been converted to a table. If you'd like to change the name, click, and I'm gonna call this one Scenario 1. Now, when I type in, equals XIRR, parentheses, and I select, we have the name of the table, which is scenario one. We can see that we're using structured references. This is referencing the table and then the array. We can do the same thing with dates. So 
so comma, and you can select or mouse over, get the downward black arrow, and click. For this one, I'm going to type in 0 0.1, close the parentheses, and press Enter. There we go. We get the exact same answer. For scenario two, let's imagine that we've been managing our personal investment portfolio. And that could be investments like stocks from Microsoft, bonds, cryptocurrencies, alongside some occasional injections of cash and withdrawals over a period of years. We want to assess the annualized return of our portfolio using Excel's XIRR function. Equals XIRR parentheses, and I'm going to do my values first, comma, then my dates. Press enter. The result represents the return of your portfolio, the fictional one, considering the exact timing and amounts of all transactions. This quick and easy function gives you a more accurate measure of your portfolio's performance over time. Hopefully, this was helpful. The XIRR function in Excel is a powerful tool for evaluating the performance of investments with irregular cash flows. Happy calculating!